Alrighty. Welcome to another day of no camera. I went to sleep at like 10 p.m. last night. It was like 97 degrees in my room. Rough times. I woke up this morning, it was 82 degrees in my room. Like 35% humidity or something like that. So, you know, it's like a good five degrees uh, hotter at least. Dying over here. You don't look so good, Light. Drink a potion or eat some food to recover your health. Zuzu, you don't look so well. All right, I don't have much time left to die. I don't even explore any of that over there. I'd like to get the treasure chest that's over there. Cause I do remember that. Back of speed. I am wonder if I can read the little plaques now. I will press the right button. Aurora. I've been what you saw. Alright, I think I'm done here. Obviously there's or I could go and do over there. I don't want to utilize my time to uh, explore the next area. So, the main quest. Aren't there supposed to be multiple? Multiple ones somewhere. Doesn't even tell me what my next quest is. I think there's supposed to be two in this this region. And then I'm supposed to go back to that one guy's castle as well. So if I'm already here, it must be somewhere up here. I guess that's what I spend my time doing.
and we will check it out. One of those AM uh, AMP if surprising. Hmm. Fine. Need those rocky crag moles for something else, but whatever. I don't have any day ring blossoms or moon soul bloom. Got that either. Got that either. Oh. Oh. To the north. North of here lies a desolate land that's littered with the hulks of downed airships. Hardly anyone goes there, apart from the curious and the brave. If you manage to trek across that land, you'll eventually reach one particular airship wreck. There's a man who lives in that wreckage, a recluse who's turned his back on the rest of human society. Of course, he's not the only recluse to make his way out to the wildlands, but this one stands out with his giant nest of a haircut. I hear he used to be a pilot back in the day. Gee. Sounds like Saz to me. Although, I don't think you should be disrespecting him. And, uh, he's got a nest of a haircut. Alright. I bet you he keeps that thing perfect. mess with the pro. Insight. And yes, hope I'm being sarcastic. Yeah. Yule's flowers are still blooming here. The crash. 
guys. Is this a downed airship? Originally. Now it looks as though it... Someone's home. Saz and Dodge. Saz? Leave us alone. What are you doing here? Oh. Dodge? Is he asleep? Yeah, he's been like that for centuries. Silent as death. Ever since the chaos came and destroyed everything. His body's still alive, but his soul... It's not in there. What's that? It's a coffer of souls. If I can collect enough soul fragments, Dodge will wake up. At least that's what I was told. Yeah, it'd just be a lie, though. Who gave it to you? Lumina. Enough talk. I, um, I gotta look after my son. The chocobo trick seems to want to tell you something. Follow it and maybe you'll find a clue. Hope, you've got to be able to find something about Dodge's condition. <laughs> Let him go through this. I know. It's difficult to say what exactly is wrong with Dodge. Physically, he seems fine, but I detect. My goodness me! If it isn't the savior, fancy meeting you here. Don't go acting all sweet and innocent, Lumina. I know it's no coincidence that you're here. Oh, so you think that I'm lurking around here, hiding poor little Daja's soul. Is that it? Something like that. Nope. Though you're right that it's no coincidence. I'm here because I've been keeping an eye on you. I'm just so worried about whether you'll be able to save Saz. Save Saz? What about Dodge? Whatever. You can save both, if you'd really like. But you must have noticed that dear daddy's soul is getting crushed. Right, Savior? Find Dodge's soul fragments. In order to save Saz, you will have to put Dodge's soul back together again. It has been splintered into five fragments and scattered across the world of Nova Chrysalia. Jesus. Uh, first fragment found next to Saz's house. The second fragment, Chocolina, could have some information about it. God. Uh, let me just, uh... uh you know what? No. We'll, we'll write this down. I think I need this. So, I have to write it down. All righty. Yes. First fragment. Dot. Second. I have to figure out how I want to label these things, and and that uh takes effort. All right, so second fragment, uh, Chocolina. Third, Soul Seed Trader. Fourth, Actair in the Dead Dune. Fifth, prize in Yuznan's slaughterhouse. Uh, 
Well, this is going to be a nightmare. Oh. Um. When's the kindness? Okay, so I got that one. Ah, that's why it had the, the afro. <laughs> All right, so I have the uh, the fourth one. Yeah, this is listed as a main quest. Okay, uh, is there anything? Oh, let's go to Chocolina and watch my comments. It's, it's as if, it's as if he's in a coma. He's just not in there. I don't even know if the coma. But poor Saz will do anything if it might bring Dodge back. Even searching for soul fragments. I want to do something to help, but I don't know where to start. I should have pushed Saz to tell me more, but the state he was in, he might not have been able to. I don't have giga amounts of uh, EP to be spending here. Did you know there's a weird fellow who lives in the remains of that downed airship? Thank you for that insightful information. I was like, what enemy just spawned? Like, what happened? What's going on? Thought it was like some Giga enemy. What is this place? You see that old husk of an airship over there? There's a grumpy old guy who lives there. I'd keep your distance if I were you. He almost never comes out. Just stays holed up in there. What does he eat? That's what I want to know. He didn't used to get any visitors, but lately I've seen some young girl coming and going. If you have some room in your field, I'd like to use a patch. This is private property. That's the old couch too, sucker. A traveler. Well, this is a rare treat. This place is off the beaten track. Let me tell you something. This used to be the center of civilization. It might be hard to believe, but up until a few centuries ago, this land was home to the world's largest city. Yeah, a long time ago, right? Yeah, that's right. And then the chaos came and devoured everything. Soon after, I set up camp here with my colleagues to research the dark power that swept over this land. No one's been keeping track of how long we've been out here, but it's been a while. We've been preoccupied, buried in our work, though we've made little progress. That chocobo is the rumored angel of Valhalla, isn't he? The chocobo of legends. Now that I've seen him for myself, he does look rather regal. He's a lot more than regal. Oh, no offense. I know he's a creature of destiny fated to lead his ordained master to the truth. So you know something about this legend? Of course. My team and I have been in this mysterious land for many years. We call this the Omega Point, the origin of the chaos that erupted and spread throughout the land over 500 years ago. 
It appears the source of the chaos is rumored to be hidden somewhere inside the Temple of the Goddess, out here in the Wildlands. We were sent out here to investigate the Omega Point, but because of the rocky terrain, there are still areas we haven't been able to reach. Unfortunately, the Goddess's Temple is one of them. But now that the Angel of Valhalla has decided to grace us with his presence... Exactly. With those wings, there's no doubt he can take you there. Many old remains have been discovered in this area. For example, do you see that over there? That's the wreckage of an airship that fell to the ground after getting sucked into the chaos. If only we could gather data from the wreckage, I'd be willing to bet it would be an enormous help to our research. It might help you solve the mystery of what happened back when the world first started to fall apart. Is that the idea? That's right. I can't promise we'll discover every last detail of what happened, but it would get us closer to the truth. Well, I tried recovering them when I was there, but it wouldn't let me. Every piece of the puzzle is important. The more we learn, the closer we get to the real truth. If there's anything I can do to help, I'm in. I appreciate that. Here, I want you to take this with you. This device extracts data from objects. Go to the ruins of the airship and search for any kind of debris that might be relevant to our research. When you find something, all you need to do is activate it. Once the device reaches its capacity, the light will flash, letting you know it's full. Come back when you're done. I'll be waiting here. How many pieces of debris? It varies by location and situation, but I'd estimate that four would probably do the trick out here. If I have to escort this lost dog, I'm not Hi. doing it. Hello there. You're Dr. Gazal's assistant, but who are you? Tilda, I'm a doctor around here. We have a bit of a problem, I'm afraid. So I was just consulting with the assistant here. He doesn't look happy. Is he injured? Something is wrong, that's for sure. We just found him. He's ever so weak. <coughs> oh, poor thing. But he'll be all right, with a vet and a doctor looking after him. Right. This clever vet was just telling me about an effective medicine. That should help. I'm still just a trainee. Dr. Gazal is the clever one. I just run errands. But I'm going to help this little one get better. He'll stay with me for the first little while. Not that I know much about dogs. I usually treat people, obviously. All I need to do is have him drink the assistant's medicine. I can handle that. Good news for the dog. I'm sure he'll get better soon. <sighs> he would, except... Except... Well, we're out of ingredients. To make the medicine. Yeah, that's the problem, see? Um, I don't have any enough goopy goo. I could collect the ingredients for you. Yes, you could. I mean, it's not like you'd have to go to the ends of the world to find them, or anything like that. The assistant can give you a list of what we need. This girl, she's actually more clever than she lets on. Oh no, I'm not. I still hardly know anything at all. But I do know how to help the dog. He just needs the right medicine and he'll be fine. Okay then, tell me what you need. And I should give these to Tilda, right? Yes, please. Oh, thank you so much for helping out. Well, I've got to run. Dr. Gazal will be expecting me back at Canopus Farms. You won't find a selection. What you got? What you got? Got a dang thing. Come again. Oh, a treasure chest over there.
Okay. I need to teleport. To Arius Climb. And then I need to teleport. The Wildland Station. It would be better for me to teleport to Arius Climb and walk to Wildland Station and I can chrono break or whatever. Once you get your hands on uh, the Soul Seed Traders have one of Dodge's soul fragments, which they acquired for research purposes. They will trade you their soul fragments if you collect both of the following items. Boy, oh boy. Uh, so this. Needs a Moogle. Right. From Moogle Village in Wildland. And then Soul Seat. Finish gathering all of the soul fragments so you can. You don't have any soul seat. Alright, that's, uh, that's annoying. I'm in the wildlands right now. I guess a Mughal village could be somewhere over there. Really the only place that I haven't been yet. We'll talk to Chocolina first. The way I know where I need to go.
Tina. So I hear you ran into old Sazzy again. How is he? Not great. Not great at all. He's so focused on this one thing, he can barely think about anything else. Well, he has a right to be. Dodge has been asleep for centuries. You can tell, can't you, that I'm terribly worried about them, too. I wish I could help, but he would never, ever ask me to. And sadly, he'd never let me. I heard the reason Dodge can't wake up is because his soul has left his body. Is that true? It is. And not only that, it's been shattered into five fragments and scattered all over the world! That's what Saz is working so hard to collect! The fragments! So, when all five pieces are located, will he wake up? Yes, indeedy! Oh, you also need a coffer of souls, but I think Saz already has one. Lucky for you! The one and only way you can help him is to find all five fragments! What a wonderful present that would make! Thanks for telling me all this. I don't think I could have dragged this out of Saz. Not the way he is now. I'm just happy to be of help! Oh, I almost forgot to tell you! I've already found one of the fragments all by myself! It's the one called the Smile Fragment. I know it's something that Saz needs, but it's not really an item per se. So, I can't give it to you to give to him on my behalf. How do you propose you get it to him then? With this magically spectacular canvas of prayers! Take a look, and you'll find what you need! Come on now, time's a-wasting! Oh my gosh. Bugalina- oh my gosh. I'm so salty. Is this? Oh, this is the Cholo Lead one. Thank goodness I already have that. Hey, got an afro. I thought you said it wasn't an item. And that's why you couldn't give it to Saz yourself, right? Kind of. It's something that's in my heart. Here, I'll take it out for you right now. Give me a second here. Here it is! One freshly baked smile fragment just for you! I'm just relieved it doesn't smell like anything. Thanks. I've got this now. No, thank you! I hope I've helped pay him back for everything he's done for me. Pay him back for what? Now would be as good a time as any to tell me who you really are. How do you know Saz and Dodge? And just exactly how did you end up with one of Dodge's soul fragments inside you? <laughs> That's still a secret for me to know and you to find out. Remember, once you have all five fragments, give them to Saz, okay? And of course, I'll be there to witness everything. I promise. Chocoboco later! I think that things are beginning to come into focus. So Saz is looking for fragments of Dodge's soul. And one of the five fragments he's supposed to find is Dodge's smile. A smile, huh? I'd like to see both of them do... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Smiling, yep. Do that again someday. Yeah, I haven't seen Saz smile once since you met him here. Never mind smiling. He'll barely talk to you. I don't blame him. Not with Dodge the way he is. The Saz that I remember could laugh in the face of any disaster. The worse the situation, the more he'd joke about it. He was a great friend when you were in trouble, but he's different now. We all have our limits, and he's reached his. He even lost his favorite chocobo chick. He doesn't have anyone left. Wait, he lost a chocobo? What?
regulate the time distortion. Don't see all seeds. Fine. I think we made pretty good progress. It sucks that we have to go back here, but we did complete one of the whatchamacallits in the day, so we're we're good. I had more EP, we could have maybe essentially completed two. We need to go to Usenon, I don't know where that's at. But we essentially could have avoided going back to what we'll call it. Maybe actually, maybe that is the play is not to go back there for the Moogle fragment. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I do go back. Five days. Oh, oh no, it's day five. Still got six days. Nice work, Light. I'll say no fat loots. Yeah, what you got? What you got? Isunada. I guess that's. It was all status ailments for one AP. Could be worse. Could be worse. Uh, let's save. Haven't done that in a hot minute. Alrighty. Turn to my previous location, please. Double uh oh. Not only am I dismounted and in chaos right now, but Nakuri is voting for Shining Force. Um The names of Shining Force games confuse me. Um Help me out here. Is that the first Shining Force game? I was looking at the Shining Force games. I guess someone recently. And uh Well actually I I was looking at the Shining Force games last night, in fact, because the first game's uh soundtrack was up on my list to listen to. I was like, oh, it's uh, like a, a strange and very specific coincidence. Uh, but I couldn't find a soundtrack, official soundtrack for it. So I'll have to track that down some other way. But uh, I noticed that a lot of the Shining Force games have a lot of weird names. the first one okay the treasure chest up there Consider it added, Nakuri.
and thank you for spending your hard-earned channel points. Is a first person to uh, to use them since I changed them. Those 50Ks were from before. Yule's flowers are still blooming here. Uh, so basically, I had a uh, like a, a lottery type deal. Um, you know, like last year, we'll just say, and I was gonna. like randomly pick a game and stuff like that but then you know I like I quietly discontinued that cuz I'm just like I'm not just not going to problem. What is going on with this place? Um, so since I didn't do the lottery thing, there were three people that actually utilized the, uh, the lottery. So I just said, okay, you know, it's like kind of did y'all dirty. I'll, um, I'll double your, your, your points that you already put into the lottery. And I'll just count that as you having voted for them. I feel like that was a, a good compromise. Definitely, definitely hate this. Like, no way I can get up there, huh? Gonna make Yulamasa play it as soon as well. <laughs> uh, poor Yulamasa. Just wants to play the greatest games of all time. And the curry is filling him with uncertainty. He doesn't know if this is going to be the greatest game of all time for him. Bring the good word. <laughs> That what we're calling it. The good word. Hey, listen, you ever seen moguls around here? Okay, so 19 o'clock is a billion years from now. Well, there's nothing that I can do here. I guess I need to go to the next area. Which is beyond frustrating. But... Sort of kind of anticipated that this would be a thing. 
and thought to myself, and even said it out loud, maybe I should instead just continue with the main story of possibly going to use Yuznan. If you guys like the game, highly subjective, but you would argue it's worth trying. Not that long of a game anyway. Absolutely. There's a lot of games out there worth trying, and if if I'm willing to spend money on Ephemeral Fantasia with the intent to play it, then I can absolutely play um, Shining Force. That seems like a no-brainer to me. Any chaos around here? I get some chaos? Apparently, I need some soul seed. Chaos. Hmm. Camera movements in this game are... A little debilitating sometimes. Oh, so you found where Yule's flowers grow, have you? Well done. How did you know? Oh, found your dog. She was just the cutest thing you'd ever see. You're willing to pay for Ephemeral Fantasia and still want to play it too? You say the bar is pretty low. To dare some other suggestions. I don't want to uh, give you any excitement or anything like that. Or even... Even tempt your chaotic mind. All the trains are running right on schedule. Are you taking the train? But, uh... You did make a recommendation. A while back. And I now own that game. So, there's that. I'm going to mark during this loading screen.